So now that we have our basic aim down sight animation, I want to go ahead and add a fire animation that's going to be played as a montage inside of the editor. So I'm going to select the uh, armature, go into pose. Actually, I want to change the camera field of view for this to 75. About what we have it in engine. So we're just going to have to make sure we make sure to uh, change that back. So inside of pose mode, I'm going to create a new action. Call this one 1911 Fire ADS or ADS Fire. I'm just going to go ahead and keyframe them all. Location rotation. And select just the hand. So we're going to get the uh, we have that keyframe. Now we're going to select the pistol armature. Go to pose. Make a new. Call this one. Nineteen eleven weapon. Fire. We're just call it nineteen eleven fire. And I'm going to keyframe all of them again. All right. So let's go ahead and make the weapon animation. So keyframe one. I'm going to go to keyframe. Well, actually, on keyframe one, we're going to want the hammer to be all the way back. And on keyframe three, rotate the hammer all the way forward. That could be a little faster. So let's just do that within one frame. And then frame four, let's move the slide to the rear. And do I not have the restraint anymore? All right, I guess I do not. So I'm going to click on this bone, go to the limit location constraint. Let's look at it. Okay, now I can't move it at all. So that's neat. So uncheck the minimum for the Y. And move it to where the slide release would be catched. So we're at negative 0 0.6 something. So for the minimum, that's what we're going to put. So now we can only go back and forth so far. All right. Not sure why that happened. So we're going to have to slide all the way back. As well as the hammer being backed in the cocked position and apply location and rotation. So the hammer should actually be all the way back at this point on frame three. Then on frame six, let's send the slide home. I think that'll be decent. Can move it just a smidge forward. On frame three, so it kind of lines up a little better. Right. 
and then set that for six frames. I said I don't know why I'm setting it for six frames just yet, but okay, so that's our pistol's fire animation. I'm gonna go ahead and just click the armature of the pistol, export, go to weapon, call this one fire. Let's triple check that they're all the same, which yeah. Let's go to Unreal Engine, Weapon, Animation, and set it to the 1911 Pistol Skeleton. And that's about what it looks like. So I think that's pretty good. So we have that, and that'll play with our fire animation alongside of it, hopefully. So we're gonna select our own armature, pose mode. As you can see, it's still kind of playing. We're gonna select 1911 ADS fire. Go to keyframe, actually leave the keyframes. Let's double them to 12. Okay. So let's see. Do this from the side. All right, hammer goes. And then the slide starts to move back. So here's where I want to start having. I want an initial. kind of hit of the muzzle flip. I don't want the wrist to really move. I want the muzzle flip to come up first and then have the impulse slowly kind of move the hands back. And on frame six, I'm gonna slowly move the hands back. And on frame 13, we're going to go back. We're going to be doing some adjusting to this. I think it could still rotate some. So, in the frame after the bolt, I mean the slide goes home, I want to have it do just a tiny jar downward. Right. So, hammer. So, yeah, I don't want any movement just yet. I want to paste that into frame two as well. So hammer goes, strikes firing pin, round goes off, slide starts to jolt back, and the impulse kind of starts to break the wrist. And then after the wrist is broken, we all start to kind of, well, the arms start to kind of come up and back a tad. And then once the slide goes back home, the hands jolt forward a bit. I want to go back just a smidge more still. All right. So the weight of the slide coming, slamming home, is going to kind of jar the uh, gun down a bit. Then we're going to start to settle back. I think we can add a little bit of rotation in there, just a tiny bit. So we're going to rotate on the Z. And 
insert it. Now let's look at what we have. I think it looks pretty nice. So that animation is 12 frames long. So I want to select the fake user, so we save it. I need to make sure to do the same thing for the uh, 1911 as well. Okay, so I'm going to save it, select the armature, and export. Call this one 1911 ADS Fire. And export. Now let's import it in, select our skeleton, and look at it. Not bad, it'll be a little more dramatic. I think actually, once the slide comes home, I want to make a slight change. So, once the slide comes home and it tilts forward, instead of it keep going down, I'm going to kind of come up just ever so slightly. I like that a little bit better. It's just a very subtle change. And I'm just going to re import. So it kind of slows down, so it catches and it kind of jerks the pistol or your wrist down just a smidge as the slide slams home. Then it's going to we're going to gradually try to fight it. So we're not so when it kind of kicks our wrist forward, we're going to have that little tendency to fight it. So it's got that quick little jolt down. And then it's going to slow down as we settle back into our how we're trying to aim. And I actually want this to finish on the ending frame, so 13. Because this is not a looping animation, I completely forgot about think about that. So we're gonna export one more time, and we should be good to go. So we're at 11 frames long. Now we're at 12. All right, we are good. So we now have our pistol and armature or. Our hand slash arms, whatever you call them. Recall animation for our aiming gun sights. So I'll see you in the next one where we actually incorporate this and make it functional.